Hey guys, so here we are well into a shelter in place. Normally, I like to be a little better groomed before shooting one of these videos, but due to social distancing, well, I'm looking a little shaggy. I realize everyone is receiving a lot of advice right now on how to take care of themselves. Sometimes I can feel really supportive, other times it can feel like another thing to do, more work, or what am I doing wrong now? Um, but we, we need to support the long game plan here, and we don't know how long this is going to go on. So how can we support you to create healthy habits that allow you to nourish yourself and best care for the amount of patients we're needing to provide care for right now? One thing everyone up is up against is the amount that is coming at us. Information, news, patients, friends, family, um, fear, anxiety, panic, the unknown, bills. We can go on and on on that one. Um, so how do we metabolize all of this? How do we take it in? How do we process it? And how do we let it go? Well, using the framework of traditional Chinese medicine, we could talk about our digestive system, both as a metaphor and as a physiological process that we can utilize to support our body in this process and support the long range goal of taking in the volume of patients that we need to care and support for and keeping our bodies as healthy and strong in the process. Many of us are habituated to our busy lives. We eat on the run while standing or even while walking. We skip meals, power through, and then sometimes we even overeat after that. These habits are very disruptive to our digestive process. In Chinese medicine, we sort of think of the brain as the movie screen, not the movie projector. Thoughts, emotions, consciousness itself comes out of the physiology of the organs. There's this interconnectivity between the physiology and our emotional life, and all of it comes out of the organs. So when you're doing intellectual activity, you're actually working your organs instead of allowing the organs to focus on the digestive process. So you are effectively robbing the digestive system of needed energy. This creates a constriction in the digestive system. It's not as open or receptive to input as it could be. This can cause or worsen bloating, cramping, gas, indigestion. The most common complaint that this can cause is heartburn or GERD. So if we take a pause and create a moment to add some mindfulness to our eating, we can better optimize how our body will receive these nutrients. I realize if we even have a break for a meal, it may be a short one. But please take a moment to arrive in your seat, let each bite land in your stomach before you take the next bite, and give news, email, social media a break also. Put all that on pause so we can just enjoy our food and allow it to nourish us. Thank you.